lovely object work. They'll be going right up after us. Made up on the spot. All we need to get started is a suggestion of anything at all. Razor Pudding. Head. Mustache. Razor head. <laughs> Razor head? Sure. <laughs> On the cover of the first issue of this new comic book hero, we see a, a mutant shark man uh, with a, a fin in his head. Uh, his, his, uh, his upper body is above the water, uh, and he's like uh, fighting these, uh, uh, these mutant uh, clownfish. Uh, and his lower body is submerged, kicking the same uh, mutant clownfish. Behind him, uh, we see uh, uh, an evil-looking sailor. He's, he's drinking, he's got a patch eye and a giant spear, and he wants to harpoon this motherfucking shark. Yeah, and, uh, the sailor, uh, he also has the same um, like makeup that the clownfish have, so he's a, a goofy-looking sailor. <laughs> the name of the boat is the SS Silly. <laughs> Uh, so we see uh, that our hero has all of the, uh, uh, the, the strength, uh, the agility, uh, the mobility and water of a shark, but he must always keep going. We see his name is the Jaws of Life. <laughs> so ladies and gentlemen, Crisis presents the adventures of the Jaws of Life. <laughs> Alright, hold on. Alright, I think 
think I remember it. Uh, uh, you're gonna be okay, all right? Just, uh, just, uh, he's turning. Ah! Just, uh, wake up! Wake up! Oh, oh God, I saved him! Joey, I did it, I saved him! My chest. Oh, God, my chest is collapsed. Oh, no! <laughs> my son who collapsed his chest! Uh, uh, hold on, I know how to fix this, alright? Alright, hold on. God, uh, just let me flip him around. Uh, <laughs> Alright, hold on. I push this way, maybe his chest will go back in. Yeah. Oh, my chest, but I can't feel my feet. Oh, god damn it! I can't feel my feet. Alright, hold on. Hold on. Uh, my son! Not yet, hold on. I think I can fix it. Joey, do you have any idea how to fix broken feet? Alright, I got one crazy idea that may work. Okay, alright? Uh, the, uh, the ambulance hasn't come yet, so go for it. Alright, here we go. I'm uh, just gonna. Alright. One, two, three! Do they work? <laughs> My feet work, but I've forgotten who I am. <laughs> you turned to me! Uh, it's a uh, remedial lifeguarding school. It's a, it's a penalty that, uh, that our, our young lifeguard is in. Um, he's the only person sitting down. Uh, there's a chalkboard that says, uh, that has the end of part of running written on it. <laughs> You know why you're here? Because uh, I, I made a kid forget his memory. Well, made a kid forget his memory. That's right. Good job. He was pretty young, so you know he still got. A, a oh, so he's got his whole life ahead of him to make new memories. Is that it? I mean, is first, that it? That's, that's what I was implying. Okay. <laughs> you're a real piece of shit. You know that. Wait a minute, I recognize you. You're. You're Bill DeMont, the most famous lifeguard of all this town. <laughs> There's a, a panel that's just a, a young Bill DeMont. Uh, he's like, he's just ripped. Uh, I mean, you see there's like a Congressional Medal of Honor in one hand, uh, like a golden surfboard in the other. They, they said you used to swim with sharks that you saved over 500 people from a, from a tidal wave one year. It's not 105, but who's counting? Well, I have the paper on this wrong, but You <laughs> really like being a lifeguard, don't you, kid? More than anything in the world, I just don't know if I'm very good at it. I really respect this craft. Oh, more than anything. Uh, but, uh, you can't swim too good, is that right? No, but... Not too much going on up here, neither, right? No, <laughs> my, my dad always told me... You, you got a hell of a lot right here, right? I... It's your heart. Yeah, I know. I, I'm pretty good at biology, so I know where that is. <laughs> but my dad told me it didn't matter if you were a good swimmer or smart. Anyone could be a lifeguard. Any any hobo, drunk man, teenager. It doesn't matter. They let anyone be it, as long as you, you want to be it. Where's your daddy now? Prison. <laughs> Unrelated non-lifeguard thing, but uh, he did his dreams, and he got punished for it, but he did it. <laughs> I respect him, but I don't condone his <laughs> I have to stress that. <laughs> okay, what if I told you we can make you a better swimmer? I need to make you a better swimmer. What if I told you we can make your brain as smart as the ocean itself? <laughs> <laughs> the ocean makes up most of the world, so obviously it's the smartest thing in the world. Right, it's the smartest ecosystem known to man. Yes. What if I told you and we can replace those little spaghetti noodle arms and legs with muscles made for swimming. Oh, I would love that more than anything. Meet me here at midnight. We turn the page. Uh, it's 12.15 a.m. You're late. <laughs> It's all right, but that, that dumb little human brain you got there is probably only about the size of a cantaloupe. Yeah, I mean, that's what they told me when I was born. <laughs> but I might have learned how to, how to be the best lifeguard and swimmer out there. I'll show you. Look at this picture. You see that? Yeah. That is a great white shark. Oh, that's also known as the lifeguards of the deep. <laughs> Yeah, sure. <laughs> follow me. Yeah. Follow me. Yeah. I'm not Wait. making this up. No, I know. Ready? I have complete faith in you. Thank you. I wrote my dissertation about the great white shark and how it's the most noble of all sea beasts. 
I can see that. Now the only thing holding it back is that it can't speak like a human. Wow. That's, that's true. So people are afraid of it. It can't say, I'm not here to hurt nobody. <laughs> I'm just here to love you. I'm just here to make you whole again. We actually see, uh, we'll catch another panel where uh, he's telling that to his wife who's leaving. <laughs> Maybe if you'd have said that while you were working on that dissertation. Yeah, Dad! <laughs> I'm taking Billy Jr. and we're gonna, we're, we're, we're leaving this small pond. We need a bigger one. <laughs> Why can't I love you like a great white could? <laughs> Maybe one day we'll have an apprentice who will teach you the meaning of bonding with people. But this one is torn apart, not unlike a body hurt by a shark. Dang! <laughs> and we return to this day. Wow, that seems so heartbreaking. But, no, but you, my son, not leech. Why have a dad? The way a shark would treat the other uh, fish around him as his children, as his progeny. <laughs> You're right. I never thought of it about it that way. I always thought dolphins or sea turtles would be the ones that save people. But a great white shark. Slow, cowardly. Yeah. <laughs> Not fast and aggressive and loud like a great white shark. Right. <laughs> Why don't you have a seat and we'll uh, begin the process. <laughs> So, is it just doing a lot of push-ups and laps to get that fast? Well, no. See this? This is the live great white shark. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think we're allowed to have those. Through science and love, we're going to make you park away right great white shark and make you the lifeguard you deserve to be. So, do I just, like, take out a notepad and observe the shark? It's a series of of incredibly painful injections, hormone replacement therapy, shark skin treatment, and about nine or ten other things that I don't remember. Uh, we turn the page. Uh, the next few panels uh, show the passing of time. Uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter. Um, and with each uh, passing panel, uh, the character uh, and the shark slowly fuse abstractly over one another. <laughs> wow! I feel it! It's a transformation! It's finally complete! That's right. Oh, now, now I feel like I can finally save people out there. And not just stop people from drowning, but stop all types of villainy towards the sea. And not only did that, but villainy on land, too. Because if a shark can go on land, they'll be able to help everyone. Just remember that the body might live on land, but the heart lives in the sea. <laughs> <laughs> and you've already saved me. We turn the page. Uh, there's a robbery in place at one of those like uh, uh, marina bars where people can pull their boats up. Hey, put them up down! Hey, I, I can make you a hurricane if you want, buddy. Oh, oh there's gonna be a hurricane of pain oh, coming geez. through this gun when I shoot you with these mimosa bullets. <laughs> oh God, they won't be able to. The doctors won't be able to save you in such a high blood alcohol content. Yeah. Oh, God, here, here's all the money. Just, just take. Just take that and leave me and our seafaring clientele alone. No, oh, <laughs> not so fast. I'm gonna have to. Oh, God! Oh, we see his body ripping all across the bank. All the people on the bank are get, or the bar are getting blood all over them. Oh, what the fuck? You, you just killed that robber. That's right. Other people in this bar might think that you're a monster or a villain. He's a monster! No! <laughs> I may think he's a villain! <laughs> people listen to me just because I'm frightening and look like a shark doesn't mean I'm bad. I'm here to save all of you. Maybe, maybe 49 people out of the 50 at this bar think that you're a, a, a villain, but I think you're a hero. What's your name? You can call me. You're like the movie Jaws. Yes. <laughs> you say, okay. Yeah. <laughs> Jaws of life. There's another burglary uh, in progress. I don't want to rent this boat. 
I want it too. I'm sorry, we don't sell boats here. We just rent them. <laughs> well, you know what? It looks like your lease on life just expired, buddy. We don't right? lease them either. <laughs> it's, it's the same thing, though, right? Renting and leasing, it's well, the same kind of thing. In theory, you could lease to own, but you can't <laughs> rent to own. You can rent to own. I know well, you can not rent here. to own. <laughs> Are you, are you really going to bust my balls over this? It's, they're synonyms, is what I'm trying to say. Like, here's another synonym. Kill and murder! Fear not, people leasing cars! They're a monster! They're bumped! Fear not, people leasing cars! Not cars and boats are the same thing as sharks! No, that's okay! I guess the boats are the cars of the water. These people might think you're a villain. I think he's a villain. I think that you're a hero. What's your name? My name? You kind of remind me of this movie. The Spielberg movie by any chance? Yeah, and you saved my life. I guess you would call me Jaws of Life. Now turn the page. Now we go to the earlier apathetic. Ah, uh, lifeguard. He's at a party, they're clowning around, if you will. Hey, <laughs> only cool lifeguards are hey, 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 hey. Yo, I hear that, uh, that all my friends who are out robbing all these marine-based industries keep getting brutally murdered. <laughs> uh, whatever, they're lame. I need the money to pay for my delicious Corona lights. <laughs> 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 that much more than you do this car, right? You get a whole bucket of them for under $15. <laughs> Sitting in sunlight. <laughs> now we gotta do something about this shark. Now, from what little of my college classes I went to, Good. I read about a professor who was developing this untested theory about combining sharks with people. Oh, build them up. Yeah, you know the Bill DeMar. The disgraced lifeguard. The disgraced lifeguard. Excuse me, boys. Life. I'm trying to get your attention. Oh! Chop bar doesn't scratch as much as I thought. That's a whiteboard. Oh, that is <laughs> great. Oh, oh I'm, I hope I didn't damage it. Boys. I want to tell you something. Yeah, old Scott, the oldest lifeguard here. I was always the oldest lifeguard here. Yeah, Tim. Yeah, look at that poster above you. Man robs a thousand banks. On the sea. That was when they had banks on the sea. <laughs> they had to stop doing those because of you. In international waters. Yeah, yeah no law. There's a, there's a poorly planned concept. We know stuff. Yeah, I just wanted to refresh you in case you didn't know. Just like this refreshing Corona I'm drinking. <laughs> Tastes great. Yeah. It's zero calories. Zero I calories, I heard. <laughs> don't, don't, you don't taste the zero There's calories. There's an asterisk that says Corona like does not have zero calories. <laughs> <laughs> Boys. I didn't get to being able to rob all those banks on the sea by just pure smarts and guts and muscles. I also took a wild batch of chemicals <laughs> that were made from an octopus and squid. Cephalopods. Cephalopods. <laughs> and I ran with a pretty tight crew back then. We called ourselves the Clownfish. Whoa, scary. Whoa, it's, it's like shaking over. Hey, are you making fun of me? No, I'm, I'm legitimately terrified. Half man, half clownfish, half, half squid, octopus, half octopus. Half octopus. octopus. Yeah. We figured that if we combined more than one animal into it, it would be a lot more scary. Let's do it. Pat, sign us up. Yeah. Right. Well, I'm going to take you to the back room. The pump room. The pump. I'm sorry, what did you say? Pump room. The pump room. Yeah, the pump room. Put it on the floor, Get you into the pool? Yeah, just just be real careful back here. Don't don't trip in any vats of glowing chemicals. Yeah. <laughs> Seems legit. We turn to the page where they're already submerged in the chemicals. <laughs> <laughs> what did I tell you, boys? The the bubbles uh slowly as they emerge from the vat, they oh. say, sorry old Scott. Sorry old Scott. <laughs> Alright, it's okay. <laughs> That was my plan all along. See, I knew you guys wouldn't willingly go into the vat of chemicals because it'd be all too scary for you. But now, submerge and rise, for you are now warriors of the land and sea. <coughs> They're like, oh, so many tentacles. <laughs> He's like, half manatee. <laughs> <laughs> stingray tail. Yeah, yeah, stingray tail. <laughs> Ready to prepare for the biggest heist of your life? 
That sounds real really cool. cool. <laughs> this Sunday, on the marina, there's going to be a boat that's going to have a big party on it for the mayor. It's his birthday. <laughs> what he doesn't know is, for his birthday, he's getting a bunch of money. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like... <laughs> The mayor didn't read the signs. No running. For mayor. <laughs> we turn the page. It's the big night. Uh, all of the uh, the creme de la creme of this uh, Bayside town are there. Yeah, everyone's uh, dressed to the nines, but with like uh, Hawaiian board shorts on too. Yeah, you because know, I like to party. <laughs> oh, I can't wait for whatever big birthday gift that the city has in store for me. Uh, oh, I know what it is. But I dared not tell us so. Oh, Clarence, you god. Uh, I don't know what to do about this recent spree of, of heroic murders, though. Not a gray area. Half, forty-nine percent of the city, the forty-nine out of fifty citizens of the city are asking me to do something about it. But there's something about that last. Two percent would say no. He's a hero. That sometimes you I heard he was a villain. I, I've heard that multiple times, <laughs> but I've, I've heard just just enough that he's a hero to kind of believe it. Well, I respect your decisions. You're a great friend. You're a great vice mayor. Thank you. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, this is a real fun party. But I think you're sponsored by other one and only. Let's say it together now. Oh! <laughs> what is that? Some kind of man manatee? <laughs> but he's got a stingray tail. <laughs> mayor and vice mayor. Happy birthday to you. Oh, well, thank you. It's, shut up. <laughs> I was joking. Can't you? Can't you tell fish humor? No. Is it substantially different from person humor? <laughs> Questions, all right. I don't like the tone of your voice. Don't do anything to my vice mayor. I, I love him. <laughs> I, won't. <laughs> I won't do anything to your vice mayor. I think that maybe give him a little sting. No! That's <laughs> right through it. Now I heard of special birthday boys getting a boatload of money for their birthday. I am? <laughs> oh, that is a surprise! We're gonna keep it a secret! Oh, I love you. Oh, uh, we got it. We were told that the, you were gonna get it around 12, the present, but I guess we came in. Do you want us to come? Now, what is it doing now? Where is the money? Uh, we turned the page outside of the, uh, the mayor's uh, private room. Uh, there's the octopus guy standing guard with, uh, with different members of the mayor's personal guard lying around him. We're gonna get so much money. This is so cool. Da -da -da. <laughs> Something seems fishy. <laughs> you! That monster everyone talks about! No! I'm a hero! You're a monster like me. Just too bad you're not cool. Well, pull 48 other people and see what they have to say. <laughs> How about just the eight? <laughs> <laughs> Must use my shark! crime a person can commit. No, murder <laughs> I catch your point. Stealing someone's birthday present. <laughs> well, you, also, you also did murder my vice mayor and... Da, da. But you're a mayor. You're supposed to be... Da, da. Da. Do you have... Da, da, do you have a certain Spielberg movie playing? Ah! <laughs> Here's your eight-legged friend. How do you like it? Tommy! <laughs> Killed my friend Tommy. That's right, but I'm a hero. Oh, I <laughs> with that statement, I'm my heart is in the right place. <laughs> the ocean. <laughs> and if you could look inside your manatee heart, manatee stingray heart, manatee stingray heart, you could be a hero too. No, he can't. Something. <laughs> oh, no, you misconstrued my point. <laughs> Thank you, Lo. The Jaws of Life. We cut to
to the prison cell, uh, where our protagonist's father is being held. <laughs> Follow your dreams, you said. <laughs> Do what your heart tells you, you said. Even if society brands you a monster, they said. I hope you dream of getting out of here. Oh, I dream of getting out of here one day. If not by land, by sea. <laughs> <laughs>